What's going on everybody? Today we are going to be talking about channel settings in this new YouTube studio layout. So what we need to do is we need to be logged in first to your account. So what, uh, go to your account and you will know you're logged in by the little circle in the upper right. We can actually click that circle and see many different options here. One of the options we are going to choose is YouTube Studio. Before I click that, I just want to show you that if you are looking directly at your own channel and you are logged in, you will also have these two blue buttons, Customize Channel and YouTube Studio. So YouTube Studio, you can get to the same place by either clicking this blue button or in the menu in the upper right. So I'm going to go to YouTube Studio. Once we get to YouTube Studio, it takes us to our channel dashboard. And on the left-hand side, we have another menu with dashboard videos, playlists, analytics settings, and some more. If you look at settings, that's what we need to go to. We're going to click on settings, and it brings up a little box that shows us some settings, general settings, such as what do we want our default uh, monetary unit to be. Um, and then we have channel. Now channel is pretty interesting, and this is one that you do want to be aware of. When you go to channel, we have some ta some different tabs here, basic info, and basic info is good because this is an area that you can add keywords related to your entire channel. You do want to make sure that you put some tags or keywords um, in this area because this is searchable and this will let YouTube slash Google know what this channel is about. And if you haven't been here in a while, it doesn't hurt to come over here and take a look. You can always add and remove some of the keywords from this general settings area. But make sure that you do have something in here. We also have advanced settings, which is pretty neat. It makes it easier for you to let YouTube know that your channel is made for kids, it's not made for kids, or you can review this setting for every video. Um, this channel is pretty much not made for kids, so I'm going to click now, and I'm going to click save. Um, let me go right back to those settings there again. So we have channel, advanced settings, then we have branding. Branding asks if you want to use a watermark. I'll put that in another video. And then we also have featured eligibility, which is nice because it just shows you the features that you have below. There's default features and it lets you know um, what are enabled. And then there are also phone verification features that I have already done this. And so it lets me know, uh, or excuse me, it lets me know that I have this enabled. Okay, so the other settings that we have over here on the left are upload defaults. I'm going to do a separate video about that. We have permissions. So we can manage permissions. You're currently managing channel permissions through a brand account. Okay. And then we have the community area here where we can um, add moderators. We can approve some users. We can hide users. We can even block some words such as Viagra, Cialis. And if anybody wants to add a website, um, I tell them to block that and I can even select if I want to block link so I can turn that on and off and allow people to add links if they want. For right now I'm going to keep it blocked so all of this is uh, set the same. Under defaults we have comments and it asks you about um, if you want to hold comments, allow them all, hold potentially inappropriate or just dis disable comments for the whole entire thing. And we even have a live chat option that lets you hold potentially inappropriate chat messages for a review or you can just leave those how they are and uh, click cancel. So that's pretty much it for your channel settings. You want to be aware of those and especially those keywords. Um, uh, and that's how you do it. So if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me a comment and let me know. Thanks. Have a good day.